Kansas is traditionally known as a red state, consistently voting Republican. But the shades of red in the party are becoming much more distinct. This is where the superintendent's office is. Dr. Steve Noble says he was in on Saturday morning working, and it's only about 30 feet away from the office where the bullet entered the building. Well, the winds in Marquette were so strong that it uprooted this tree, which is over 100 years old. Police say if there isn't a sidewalk like here on Tulane Avenue, scooters are allowed to drive on the road. It's been raining quite a lot in Salina, and that means more mosquitoes. Now people in the area may have trouble finding bug spray. I did a quick check this morning, and I had to go to four different stores to find this one bottle of spray. Walking alongside the highway isn't always a pleasant experience. There's the heat, bugs, trucks, and cars, but one man and his pet goat have decided to walk all the way from Seattle to New York for a charity. The couple lives out in the country, and they say the guns were a sense of security for them. I certainly didn't intend to offend anyone, and I certainly, I sent, I apologize for making the mistake and fully recognize what I had said was wrong. The mistake that County Commissioner Jim Guile made using a racial slur in a previous county commission meeting. He was talking about repairing a roof when he said, I, I guarantee it'll be the same if you go to it. But, uh, I, what did you say, Jimmy? Afro-America, isn't it? <laughs> Guile claims this is not a word that is usually in his vocabulary. I don't use it at all. It was just one of those things that it, it was it was there, and I don't know why it came out. Because he's not that kind of a guy, and we know that. Some members of the community say the apology just isn't enough, and they're calling for more drastic action. I'd like him to resign. That's how he can earn my respect and the respect of uh, my peers, uh, my peers of every color. Christina Humphrey spoke at Tuesday's meeting, revealing she voted for Guile. She talked about her disappointment. Recently, Commissioner Guile used the most horrible word in the English language, I never use that word because it tells of a time of hatred and ugliness in our nation, and it truly hurts my heart. The commission decided, despite Humphrey's pleas, they want Guile to remain in his position. Samantha Anderson, KWCH 12 Eyewitness News. All of a sudden, a little girl came running in, and uh, she was quite obviously distraught. She was yelling for us to help her and that her friend had been shocked. Amanda and I both jumped up and ran. What employees at Salina Running Company saw was a young girl face down in water. Vanessa Hall called police while Amanda Weizar tried to move the girl. She got shocked, so she ran back, and while I was on the phone with 911, she grabbed a broom and was able to flip the girl over with the broom. Um, and at least got her face up so that she wouldn't drown. The women gave dry clothes to the other four children and tried to calm them down. The one little guy who was in shock, he was just quiet. The other ones were all kind of going in and out from just talking a mile a minute to try to process what had happened, to crying, to screaming. Um, it all happened really fast and kind of in slow-mo at the same time. The fire marshal says the girl was on this electric outlet box which is used for concerts at the plaza and powering nearby street lights. At this point, they're not sure what happened. We are still trying to uh, review exactly what happened to determine exactly how the, the shock did occur. The incident hits close to home for some. No lightning, we're gonna go walk around and splash around and do that kind of thing. Yeah. It makes you think about where you're gonna do that now. It was a rough night for us, but I can't imagine what the family's going through. When Salina Police Chief Carson Mansfield first saw this video, I was surprised and a little disgruntled when I saw that. Salina police started looking into the incident captured last Friday night on a cell phone. Mansfield says you need to slow down the video to really understand what happened. Second suspect is about to approach the back of the officer. Because see, they've, they've turned around like this and his back is to him. Okay, go ahead. Here he comes. And this officer comes in with a, and it's almost a pick and roll from basketball. He comes in and, and picks him off the back of the first officer or from behind. He doesn't know whether he's touched him or not. And we have to go with what he knows at the time. And what he knows at the time is this guy is approaching an officer from the backside and they're vi they've been uh, vulgar and um, 
this situation can quickly spin out of control. Police say the person thrown on the ground punched the officer making the arrest. That's a different story from what eyewitnesses first told us. I did talk with eyewitness Chase Driscoll after the meeting and he said he didn't believe he saw the person punch the officer. Chief Mansfield says the video speaks for itself. At first blush, it looks like it's excessive. I agree. But when you get the film going and you understand what's happening, that he's pulling him off another officer, I don't know what else they could do. Salina police have cleared all officers involved. As for the people involved, one was arrested for disorderly conduct and another may face charges for assaulting an officer. Samantha Anderson, Eyewitness News.